Okay, well, this looks a little bit like a mess, but I want to show you what it looks like before it's finished, so you can watch along as I work on the project. Uh, this is a little berm, this little hill of dirt over here that's got all the weeds growing on it. This is a berm that we put to keep the water from coming down the hill and going under the house. John Jenkins did that for me. And last year, I just put a lot of mulch on it and it looked beautiful all summer. And this spring, the weeds have started coming up like crazy. So I'm having to clean all this up, get all those weeds out, and I'm gonna put landscaping fabric down and some fresh mulch. And so I've started over here in the corner and that pile of leaves and stuff is what I pulled out. Now this is such a mess over here because I did not clean it out from the winter before it got hot and now I'm scared to get in there because of snakes and we've had another snake sighting today near the house so I'm not really excited about getting in there. So what I've done is I've sprayed some some weed killer and I'm going to let the weeds die a little bit and then I'll get in there and the yard needs mowed. But um, along, along the side of the house here I have lithium planted. It's purple loose strife. And then I have planted in between those some hollyhocks and they're starting to come up. Um, when I first, the first winter I was here, I put under that um, underpinning there, I put uh, some two inch thick foam that goes all the way to the ground and then I put uh, thick black plastic over that and then I put this old rusted barn tin. But what I'm going to replace it with or put over it is some pickets so it looks like a, a picket fence goes all the way down the side of the house and that'll look a little nicer than this um, than the barn tin down towards the end it gets a little crooked and doesn't look very nice so I had mulch all along the edge here so I need to replace all of that and just get in there and weed eat this and replace the mulch and so here is where I saw a snake what two weeks ago so that's why I'm a little nervous about it I did spray the weeds in there under my uh, crepe myrtle and that crepe myrtle is in a box because all of this ground around here is nothing but solid gravel. So I put that box there, filled it up with dirt and planted the crepe myrtle and I'll be able to remove the box here pretty soon if I want. But so today I've just started putting down some more mulch and uh, I've recently just painted the uh, the steps and what I'm going to do I had thought about painting the house and I posted that on Facebook and a friend Carol Malone suggested that I just um, power wash it and put a clear coat on it so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm painting all the wood trim brown and all of that and I'm gonna just clear coat the sides so what I'm doing out here and this is really a mess is I'm building a little patio thing so I can put a, a table and chairs and a little barbecue grill and then I made a little flower bed here so what I did is I just took old pallets and I, I put them there and just lined them up where I wanted them and then I went ahead and built a flower bed because my sister had a lot of uh, plants she was gonna give me and I needed a place to put them quick and so she was thinning out her plants. And so that's what all these lovely plants are. I've just planted a few from seed and I've got some echinacea right there and that's some columbine. And behind it, I left the columbine in the pot. That was from Connie Howard. And I'm going to share a little of the columbine with my sister. And this lovely cactus-like plant is live forever and this is a um, beautiful yellow irises that have already bloomed and that plant back there I am pretty sure that my sister told me someone gave it to her 
and they didn't know what it was called. And um, she said that it gets about six foot tall and it has these big, beautiful yellow blooms on it. So I can't wait to see what that's gonna do. And then I have some empty spaces back there. I need to pull those weeds. I want to plant some something else back there. And I just made a little path through here with some firewood. I thought that was kind of cute. And you can just go from the side yard into the path up to the little patio. And, um, and of course the patio is not done yet. I've got it fairly leveled out. I need to do just a little bit more. But what I did was I bought some of those, those pickets, the fence pickets, and I just cut them off and put them down. And so before I paint it and anchor it a little more, I need to just check the leveling and scoot those pallets there. Scoot them over that way a little. And then these pallets I put in the front of the house. I actually did that because I was going to hang planters off of them and um, and just have beautiful plants cascading all across the front. And I haven't done that yet, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. But I just recently painted all that trim and all the rails and stuff. And so I'm going to paint that little table. Actually was a log holder, for firewood holder. I'm gonna paint that matching brown and leave it out here. And, and then I, I don't think I'm going to paint the little patio. I think I'm just going to um, stain it. Because if I paint it, it's just, you know, it's going to weigh off pretty quick and I'll have to paint it all the time. So I think I'm just going to stain that. And then here on the front, because it looks kind of yucky, like, let me see if I, like all along there, I'm covering that up with pickets. All the pieces that I cut off. Um, I cut off the end pieces to to use on the patio there and so the end pieces I'm using to make a little fence that goes along the edge of the patio and I'm gonna do it all along the edge of here and then there will just be a little step up right here that goes on to the patio area and I need to fix that end piece there I'm gonna camouflage that with some 1x4s and I think it'll look cute when it's done um, I think I'm going to put a, um, what's it called? It's a piece of, it's called a sail shade or shade sail or something like that. I don't remember, but I think I'm going to make it myself. I'm going to buy a waterproof painter's cloth and make it and just have that shade come out over part of the patio. And then... I've got a lot of leftover lumber up here. This is leftover 4x4s that came from my sister Sheila and her husband Larry. It was leftover from a pool deck and I am going to use that and I need to get some more 2x4s. And I'm going to make a, a bench to put in front of the garden which is right up there on the hill. I'm going to have a, a bench to put up there and then I think I'm going to, if that works out well, I think I'm going to go ahead and make two little benches to put on the front porch. Up here I have a little flower box with a ladies mantle in it and I think I want um, a little bench right along here and then one right along there. Look at that pretty view, isn't that awesome? And that's my daughter's house right over there. And then their yard is all of the green and it goes way over against the tree line and then farmers uh, plant crops in the part in front of that. And in front of that, on the other side, is a federal wetlands. And then this is the road that goes around and there's the driveway and right up there is how you get out to the road. So I will update you with a little bit more in just a few minutes. Looks like I've got company. Bye. I'm back. 
and today the heat index uh, made the weather 100 degrees so I did not finish um, any of the outdoor work here I did last night I did a little bit more spread a little bit more mulch but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what I've got done and wind up this video and depending on what the weather does the next couple of days if it doesn't rain all day it's going to be a little cooler I may get out here and work on it but I'd like to get it done before it gets miserably hot for a whole summer long so let me turn this around oh I don't think I can all right I'll be right back all right I'm back I think I figured out you can't turn it around once you're already recording so back up a little bit but... so I got that much more done and what I'm having to do is spread the landscaping fabric and then haul mulch the mulch is up behind the garden in a big pile and so I'm taking the wheelbarrow and going up and down that so I don't make a lot of trips in the day and then on the way back from Lowe's we ran to Lowe's yesterday to get some uh, materials for trellising the garden on the way back from Lowe's we took a little scenic ride and stopped at a nursery down the road that I didn't know was there and picked up a few plants and so I made a little bitty flower bed right there with some grass I bought there. And then, then I went to the clearance section at Lowe's and Walmart in the garden center. And I got um, some of that. Let's see, what is that? Let's see, it is phlox. And so it's, I mean, it's not going to bloom now, but uh, maybe it will next year. And I had an empty pot. And then I got some of this other grass and put in here. And last year I had one in the middle of that. And I hadn't bought anything to go in there yet, but it looks really pretty. And this will all drape down way over the side. It's, it's real pretty in the middle of the summer. So I got that done. And that's about all I got done in addition to all the stuff I did up at the garden. So uh, the front yard project will have to wait after this rainy season. And if there's any dry spells during the day, I'll work during the day if it's not too muddy. So that's it. And thanks for watching Little House on the Loop. Updates on my tiny house and my garden. Thank you. Bye.